My son Matthew was murdered on June 24, 2010. He was 27, a sweet boy with a kind heart. I don't know what kind of gun the men who broke into the medical marijuana dispensary that he was working at used to shoot him in the back of the head. But this I know. People should go to work and go home alive. And I know that the more guns that we have and the easier it is to get them, the more people will be hurt and killed with guns. People are so very nice to the mother of a murder victim. With sympathy, with great empathy, they say no one should lose a child. It's unnatural. And they're right. It is the worst thing that can happen. And yet, it is with optimism that I'm inspired by moms, the passion and anger of many moms, uh, working together to inspire sensible and sane gun policies. And so it is in Matthew's memory that I commit on this Mother's Day to doing everything I can to make sure that no mom or dad ever loses a child to gun violence.